Hello, welcome to Appliance Master Live. I'm Bill, and again this week with me is Kari. Hello, and uh, today we're going to be going over some of the do's and don'ts of, you know, a glass cooktop. I know we discussed the several different types last week, but we're going to get into a little bit more detail with the. Yeah, sometimes you move into a home and it has one of these already, and mm -hmm. you know you have to get used to it quick. So. Mm -hmm. One of the obvious things is that glass is fragile, yes. so it's like people always remember that after there's an accident. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, one thing you can do, one good habit is mm -hmm. don't store anything heavy in a cabinet above the cooktop, because um, and you have to be careful too if you're reaching something above mm -hmm. the cabinet with the cooktop and you put your weight on it, like if you put your hand yeah. or kneel on it even, or if you're reaching up to grab something, you got to be careful of that because you could you know you could crack it. And um, if you have something up there like other corning ware, mm -hmm. something, and you mishandle it and you drop it, yeah. like everyone does, it's going to hit the cooktop mm -hmm. and, it, and it's really expensive to replace the, you know, those cooktops. Yeah, the part itself is usually seven, uh, not seven hundred, say several hundred dollars to yeah. purchase a new cooktop. Um, and I guess the other thing is not to use any kind of rough bottomed pots or pans and to be mindful. Yeah, well, anything, even a like you mean like cast iron, something like that? Cast iron, or even if the bottom of a skillet has like little ribs in it, yeah, you don't want to slide that across, you want to gently place it on top. Yep, yeah. even if it's, or it could just be even dirty mm -hmm. or old. Um, if you just, and when you slide them back and forth, you can scratch the glass, mm -hmm. and all those scratches will collect dirt and uh, just not look good over the years. So. Yeah. I guess one of the obvious is not to place anything heavy on top of it or stand yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Um, a lot of times people have like a um, plastic cutting board nearby or mm -hmm. a rest for the uh, spoon. You have to be careful with wooden spoons, plastic spoons, or anything that you might rest that stuff on. Because even though sometimes you don't have it on the cooktop, mm -hmm. something gets bumped on the counter, it just slides on, it'll, it can melt on. Mm -hmm. It's we. This is happened before. Yeah, we were just discussing with one of our technicians, Tom, that uh, he's been on Facebook Live with us previously, and he was just telling us a story about how someone accidentally turned their cooktop on when they had a plastic cutting board on it, yeah. and it melted, and when they tried to pull it off, it yeah. ripped a big chunk of the glass off. <sighs> yeah, so, well, gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. And um, the, also, the just for normal use, the stains, like glass uh, stains from, uh, not just from scratching, but... Um, I guess spills, yes, spoil like, overs. They have to be cleaned up immediately, like mm -hmm. you know, instantly, immediately. Especially if they have like sugars in, in that. Yes. It's going to get sticky and burn on. What do you, uh, what do you have for us there, Kari? Um, well, this is just, you know, some of the, the lists of the do's and don'ts that we Survey the technicians. This is what they suggested. Okay. I think we may have touched on pretty much everything. Um, oh, the one thing is um, cleaners. Yeah, you've got to follow the manufacturer's recommendation for cleaners. The, uh, cleaners can have abrasives in them, and um, um, you know, some and some glass is different than other glass, and it mm -hmm. can scratch more easily or get cloudy, or sometimes they have designs on the surface that come off. So you, like our, you should always start with. Uh, the uh, manual, your owner's manual, or you know, you can, if you don't have that, you can find those easily, or you can yeah, call you just us. Call the manufacturer with the, you can, you know, the brand, the brand of your appliance, and they can. Well, you could just Google. You could just Google the uh, the brand mm -hmm. or your model number if you have it, and say user manual, and it should be pretty easy to find. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you have much more on this interesting topic, but. Yeah. We are still running our free dryer vent analysis promotion right now, so with every new diagnosis call, you can have a free dryer vent analysis that we would typically charge $39 for. Yeah. This is the time of year where we have an uptick in house fires and dryer mm -hmm. fires. Um, I, I'm not sure why, but you know, these winter months are when it becomes a bigger problem. Mm -hmm. So, I know someone re one of our customers recently had a squirrel hiding acorns in their dryer vent. And uh, they noticed there was something wrong because it started smelling like burning nuts <laughs> in their home. Yeah, I just moved my daughter out of her apartment, and it's like, and she's lived there for a while, and it's like, she's like, she's like, Dad, I think I have birds in my venting, and it's like, sh yeah, sure enough, there's, there's birds, you know, bird material hanging out. And it's like, 
It's like, thanks for you know, telling me now. Well, but it's, it was, uh, that wasn't I, really fixable. No, it's fixable. You, they well, have, not for you. Well, I mean, as you're loading the van, emptying your apartment, it's like, yeah, I'm probably not going to clean out your venting. But, yeah. but you know, again, these townhouses just have all improper hoods on the outside mm -hmm. and birds moving in on the inside. So yeah. give us a call if you're not sure. Be happy to look at it. And that's free this month. For, mm -hmm. or yeah, if it's booked with a new diagnosis, call for a different appliance. Whether it's washing machine, stove, refrigerator, we can more gladly check your venting for you. And if you have any other questions about your uh, glass cooktop, or mm -hmm. you know, we're here to try and answer them for you. Yeah, you can give us a call or visit our website, appliancemaster.com, and submit your question there.